Hello everyone, welcome everybody back to another video. Today we're going to showcase an account named Sabarot. So let's get to it, shall we? So here we are. This is a WIP 9, 54 million bath rating. Uh, the person said because um, they have changed their setup a few times, they're kind of lower than what other WIP 9s is, but still, I think, it, it's, I think it's a decent build. They've had their account since December or since Christmas, so with, which might be later actually, I, I don't freaking know. Uh, by the way, you can get a new title for free just to check in events and the uh, anniversary title. It's permanent actually. The title is permanent. Let me show you guys. It, look, it looks cool. Uh, we're going to see your account in a second here. Uh, it's permanent, so if you want to, you can get that. It's. I recommend it. Permanent stat bonus with a permanent setup here. So yeah, I guess uh, we can get started. Why not? The main is full eternal, zero stars. Nice wings. I really dig those wings. Is that isn't that from Phoenix or something? I want those wings. Anywho, I actually want to see what wings that is. Uh, red hood wings, actually. Wow. Yeah, those are tempting. Those look badass. Anyway, four million main. Um, five million Dora. Five Athena. Five. Oh, you have very balanced there, and then you're. A, you have a one hero team. This is a one hero team. However, however, you, I would probably. Well. I had I had the same thing, you know, before before I changed over, before I had six star gear on my Pamela, I did have everyone at Eternal. Then someone told me, yeah, why don't you try a full one hero team? Just revert all your gear. And then I did that. I went with Imperial on her, Imperial on her, and I went with. I even just made Imperial on this one. Doesn't even matter. Perhaps Berserker is useful. And on the main, I also just went with. Berserker, I believe, and then I just used every every eternal shard I could find and put it onto my Moira or Pamela. And then what I did after that, I just kept everyone at three star legendary gear until I had all six star here. And then I started again getting um, eternal for Liz afterwards. Then I got it for I, I didn't use Athena, but I used Moira, I think. Anyway, I got it after. I would get it after Liz here, and I would get it on main perhaps. No, oh, Dora and then main. Uh, last, but yeah, I would get full six star eternal first of all, <laughs> and the way I would do that is definitely by just reverting all gears, get legendary three star gear on the others, and f focus only, only on Moira. Then I would get the sword to six stars first. Then I would get the belt to 6 stars second, the helm to 6 star third, and the armor to 6 star last. So you focus in that pattern, like that, 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 that. As for your relics, it's nice you haven't focused more on others. Uh, I guess you can have it that until you know you have enough. And then I would get the wheel of fate to 10 stars before increasing the other one. Uh, let's see what runes are you are using on these heroes. I'm trying to speak clearly So you're using it. You, I would remove the dodge is not useful for men, so I would I would change that with like freaking I Would change the dodge rate with crit because your main is a healer As for here. Yeah, you have crit and this is a decent setup. Perhaps remove the dodge for um, agility. Yeah, don't keep dodge. It's not very useful. When it comes to your Dora, you have a plus 7. Perfect. That's exactly what you need. If you're going to recharge more, I would get revolution today. Because um, that's even better. <laughs> uh, yes. But yeah, you would have to make her plus 11 then. Uh, so yeah, you should also evolve your Moira today. Or whenever. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let's see her runes. When it comes to her runes, attack is useful, defense perhaps more useful with end. Dodge is always very useful on her, so when it comes to runes, you you have a decent setup. It's it's all right. It's all right. Uh, as for here, end attack, HP dodge. Yeah, this is a use. That's decent. That's decent. Nothing more. 
If you want to see what runes you should use when you have all the fusion runes and all the single runes, just ask me and I will screenshot everything to you. Uh, when it comes to your... you chose it right. Well, you don't need this much hit because you have the hit right here. You don't need hit runes, all right? Then you use attack, agility, HP on both single on all single runes. Attack, HP, and agility. I would not use crit because that's not useful if you're not evolved. Um, as for fusion, I would use defense and attack hit. Agility crit. Or yeah, if you want agility, if you want to do it first, then you choose agility crit. If you want more end rate, you use defense end. It's what a, it's up to you. But it's it's nice it early, so yeah, you can choose. But that's my my word of advice there. When it comes to your uh, what about those stats? Yeah, we we'll use HP damage reduction instead of defense. But uh, you you have this second best. When it comes to your Athena, I am not sure how much dodge works for her, but... And agility HP attack. Yeah, I would probably remove the agility for a, a, an attack. Because uh, attack is very important on her. Yeah, I would uh, remove the um, defense for an attack. Or dodge for attack. Actually, dodge. I don't think she's a heavy dodger. I don't, I don't freaking know if Athena's a dodger or not. When it comes to this, she's a semi-dodger. Semi. Attack, um, attack, defense, attack, HP, agility. I'm not sure. You need to have attack on her though, so remove the freaking. Um, remove the defense or something on her to get the attack. As for uh, HP relics, rage per turn and HP per turn is perfect uh, on anyone. And lifesteal is also good for everyone, I suppose. Except for main, because main is healing a lot. Maybe not as important for me, I guess. When it comes to your upgrades, yeah, it's all right. Don't upgrade these anymore. Continue everything on Moira until she's R15 from now. Uh, when it comes to animate, yeah, do do not focus on anyone else more than you already have. Keep every one as is. Continue on Moira. Get these three first. These three. And then whatever you want, hit perhaps, because you're so hit, you're hit full, full of hit. Yes, uh, but nice, you could focus more on Moira, but yeah, it's kind of difficult, I suppose. Uh, let's head over to your relics, let's see if you're focusing grave on anyone. I wouldn't use tone 2-9 on her, I would revert. I would revert that on her. And then I would just continue here, get that up and engrave. So they, I'll do it for you. No, you barely didn't, you didn't have enough. You could if I did that, but I'm not going to. You actually could and you would have missed three. Missed three, but yeah. Engrave focus, it's good, it's good. Perhaps weaken that because you don't need that at enough. You can get nine of these from that and be ready to use for your Moira. I could also get a lot of engraved stones from that. When it comes to your mount, that line looks cool. It looks it looks very cool. Uh, let's see what you're using. You're using the correct one here. Focusing a. I guess you can keep that for the Dora, right? But I would um, could probably reduce these to level three. Maybe even that to level 3, or keep that at level 5, and continue everything on tomorrow until that that's level 10. Because that actually helps you a lot in, in stats, like seriously, it does help you a lot. Uh, do not focus on engrave on others. Uh, well, yeah, that's just my opinion. I would focus everything until mm -hmm. that, at least you have everything all right and up on Moira. But you have the correct build up here. You have Dragonfire and Dragonfire. I love that. I love that. So yeah, I would get a send free armor, armor and reins probably to R8. Then I would continue on the orb to R12, the helm to R12, and then you can continue on armor and reins to keep them equally balanced and upgraded up. After you're done on the helm and the orb. I'm done on the helm and the orb and I have these two at R9 right now. Um, when it comes to your battle pets, I would use Azorus. 
Reason being, he can stun, and that's ultimately better than any pixie. Uh, cat familiar? Wow. That's not a bad grace pet. Straight, straight up, that's a good grace pet. That's a better grace pet than, uh, than I have. Well, actually not, minus I, but that's just because I have Awaken Evil, I guess. Yeah, that's a good grace pet right there. Continue on getting those, because Cat Familiar is one of the grace pets you need. Guess you could add Pixie and Grace as well. Use Azorus as deployed, then get Dragonite, Mystic Fox, both of them equally. Get all of them every, every time. I would also start buying... Uh, where is the new battle pet? Well, there's a new battle pet coming tomorrow uh, for you. Uh, Katsuni, uh, you should also buy that every day because that's also mythic. That will give you more battle, battle power, battle rating. So what you should use, this, in, this deployed, this grace. Uh, let's see what's best, attack and agility or attack crit and end. I guess crit rate is more important than agility, isn't it? I'm not fully sure. Star Striker does have a higher standard setup, and Dean actually has uh, one even even higher. Well, Star Striker, I would choose Star Striker above Ifrit. I I think, even though Ifrit is easier to build with, yeah, perhaps because Ifrit is easier to build with, I would use Ifrit and Grace, Mystic Fox and Grace, the Dragonite and Grace. Cat Familiar and Grace, and the new pet coming tomorrow, that's a mythic pet. So yeah, use those in Grace, and focus on Grace as much as deployed, please. Do that. Grace is more important than a deployed pet. The higher the Grace, the higher damage you deal. Instead of healing 100,000 more. Whoa! I spent 3,000 bloodstones and 6,000 soul stones for my heroes to be healed 150,000 more. Whoa! I've, what's that in five and a half million HP? It's much better to in increase that HP <laughs> and those stats from Grace. All right, just a piece of a piece of advice. Nice, nice job, by the way, on Awaken. And yeah, Grace can be much higher. But yeah, you're you're on a, you're a good way with that cat familiar. That's an excellent, excellent hero, excellent battle pet right there. Uh, let's give your soul arms a look. You only have two unlocked. Well then, <laughs> that's a that's a decent one. That's uh, you're going to use that in slot three whenever, whenever. But yeah, I would get Titan Grip first now. Uh, Divine Reaver, Eternal Out, and uh, Dragon Warlance, and I would use that one first, that one second, this one third, that one fourth, and that one fifth. And I would upgrade the third skill on all of them except for this one. The first skill on this one is actually quite useful. You're actually focusing way too much on this one. But uh, alright, alright, everyone makes mistakes. But yeah, not bad. Not bad. You can get you can get better. Do not focus a lot on this one, by the way, it's it's kinda of useless. Um so is the blade of ruin, but that gives a decent attack bonus if you just upgrade it. Like solar arm bonus, whatever. Runestone setup. It's nice that you haven't focused on anyone else a lot, at least. Let's see here what you are working with. You have 11 out of 11 unlocked. Yeah, nice. This is a good. This is a good start. If I were you, because you're a hitter, you want to hit. I guess you could go with these three. Then you could could continue up here. You don't need crit rate until she's evolved. And then I would go here and I would take this row here. And once you have enough allocated points, I would revert again, or reset. Then we would go here, take this circle, and take that. When you have enough to take all of that, you can take that away. And then you can get these three and these three, and then you can go back there. That's what I've been doing. I also have dodge though and more stuff, but that's because I'm, I'm trying a dodge build right now. Yeah, this is that's what I would do for you, or that's what you should be doing. What do I want some free bath rating? I can give you some free bath rating, dude. Oh, zero out of zero. Yeah, that's expensive. Couldn't you, like, buy these things? Like, one of each? Elemental shop? Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, it's fine. We got some bath rating. Not a lot, but still. Yeah. 
that's that's the showcase. Uh, let's uh, challenge a few people here. Um, where are everything? Uh, I just want to make sure it's um, filming my me face, dude. Filming me face. Let's see your ranking here. Okay, let's challenge someone who's first lower than you. Or you wait, someone your battle rating. So your battle rating, that's. Let's say Maxi is your bath rating, and then we'll challenge someone higher than your bath rating, and then we'll ch challenge someone way higher than your bath rating. Then we can challenge someone twice your bath rating, and then we'll see what's up. Let's see here. Yeah, your Moira did did a nice job. That Terra actually tanked that. That was an impressive. Yeah, you crush people your bath rating. Let's challenge someone a bit higher than your battle rating this time, which is uh, 68. That's a bit higher, I would say. That's like 15 million higher or something, 14 million. I turned 14, probably. Yeah, people are so silly using their soul arms. Oh, actually, focusing on Moira, not bad. Yeah, this person is focusing a lot on this Moira. Yeah, if you had an Osaurus now, you would win because that Moira would be frozen. But you won. See, you beat someone higher than yourself. Very nice, very nice. Let's challenge someone who is uh, almost twice your battle rating. Uh, and then we'll see. Perhaps you'll lose, perhaps you'll win. Let's see. I think you probably will not make it, but you never know. Perhaps you can. Yeah, you. he's focusing on main. That's not good. And your Moira will be st stunned, yes. Yeah, he's using the correct battle pets. Yeah, you, you can't be expected to beat someone that much higher, I guess. Yeah, nice job. Nice job on your hero. Nice job. Hopefully this helped you. Uh, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Have a nice day, guys. Goodbye.